If you've ever wondered how to make Dorito chicken, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's super simple, so just keep following along and you'll get results that look something like this. So let's just go ahead and get started. First you want to start off with preheating your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and selecting your chicken. I'm using chicken breasts and I'm just taking away all the sort of excess fat and grossness that comes off of the chicken. This is optional. And then I'm just putting them into nuggets and strips. You could do both, all strips, all nuggets, leave them big. It's all up to you. You definitely want to remember to wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water after touching and dealing with raw chicken. It's extremely important, you guys. Place the chicken strips or nuggets in a bowl and put about a cup or two of milk. There's, again, many options for this. You could use cream whole milk, skim milk half and half, really buttermilk also is great for these. This is almost to just tenderize it and keep the chicken moist, juicy, and tender. Cover that up with some tin foil or saran wrap and refrigerate for about one to five hours. Take a blender, food processor, anything to crush up the Doritos. You could also use a rolling pin in a plastic bag. You can put the Doritos in, whatever you want to crush them up. Now for the Doritos, I'm using sweet chili heat and zesty cheese, putting these in my Nutribullet and I'm also going to crush them up. I feel that this works the best if you give them a little crush first. It really makes the blending process easier and you want to take it off and kind of smash it around, shake it up and this could take a few times. You want to keep doing this until you get your perfect consistency. You don't want them too chunky but chunky enough so you have some crunch. You want two other bowls. One bowl you want to put about a half a cup of flour and the other two eggs well beaten so that you can give this a little stick and I will show you what that means in just a second. But before that, take a cooking sheet or a baking sheet, place some parchment paper on it or Pam so it doesn't stick. You don't have to do both. I just am anal about doing that. And the fun part is the coating of this. So you want to take the chicken out of the milk and then place it into the flour, dredging it there. Shake off the excess and then place it into the egg mixture when Ever you're ready or I'm ready because I'm apparently taking a long time there we go so place it in there coat that dunk it and then place it in the Dorito mixture and you could do a thick layer you could also go back in the egg and in the Dorito again to give it a double crunch it's really up to you and how you want to do this and place them on the cookie sheet when you are done and do this with all of the chicken and then you want to bake these for about 15 to 20 minutes in a preheated oven of 400 degrees that I told you guys earlier and this is what you're going to come out with and on the left here is the original zesty cheese and then over here is the sweet chili heat and they are so good. This recipe is awesome and super quick so I hope you guys enjoyed it.